Today I want to show you how to use the glove box in our group. So today we want to bring in uh, a chemical and fill it up in a round bottom flask. We'll use the small chamber for that. First you take your magnet and bring it to the small chamber indicating that you're using it. Open the door. You can drag out this metal tray and put in all your things. So in this case we want to bring in a solid and there's air in this bottle too so we just crack the top so that we can also evacuate the solid. You should uh, stand it upright, close it carefully. So to properly evacuate we should wait at least 10 minutes and then we'll come back and bring all the, uh, these things inside of the glove box. 11 minutes later. So we waited 10 minutes now. Our stuff is properly evacuated. If you have a, a solid that is in an open bottle, like right now, be mindful that after you turned it halfway, uh, just open it slowly because the wind in there can throw it over. While this is filling, you can already focus on this touchpad. So the first thing you want to do is press on press, which allows you to change the working pressures. We'll always keep this upper working limit at 10 and um, the lower one around 5 if it's idle. But if we want to work, we can lower this. To 0.5 okay perfect and then we go back and this actually saves this we go to functions and we can turn on the box light and then we can go inside of the glove box so we will provide these white uh, cotton gloves never use a lab coat because we want to keep this side of the machine chemical free When you go in, you can use this foot pedal. It has this hook in the middle so that you can uh, move it around. Press the left pedal. This uh, lowers the pressure in the glove box. If you go in too quickly, you will hear this loud noise. So this means that the circulation in the glove box turned off. We can see that here uh, something has become red. So red is not good. If you just press in this general area, you can actually see circulation is turned off. Very importantly, if this ever happens to you, turn it on again. <clears throat> but if you go in slowly and press this pedal, it should be no problem. So once you're in, we have this blue box over here where we have some dry Kim wipes and uh, fresh white gloves. We put these on to protect the black gloves from chemical spills. And then you're good to go. We can open the small chamber and this tray actually comes out pretty far that's very nice we will not use uh, actual cork rings in this glove box because the cork will absorb a lot of air and moisture so we'll use this rubber cone instead if you need another one just bring in a rubber cone Okay, make sure to always close the store 
in case somebody else wants to put something in the glove box, we don't open the box by accident. We have this little uh, metal tray here. It's a good idea to do all your work within this tray because if you spill something by accident, it's easier to clean up later than to clean it up in the general space. So very often you will uh, want to put something on the balance. Uh, we will not use actual cork rings in here because these can carry too much oxygen or moisture inside the glove box. So we we'll use these rubber cones. All right. So we're not interested in the weight of the flask just in the weight of the compound in the flask. And for this, within the glove box, we have to actually be mindful that through the circulation in here, there's always wind. So we have to close all these doors. And um, you also have to be mindful of the pressure that is in the box. So at the moment it's at 2.1 millibar over pressure. And when you weigh something out in the box, every time you want to go back to the same pressure that you had before. So now when we uh, use Tara on this flask, we have to remember the pressure that is right now uh, indicated. So I put one finger on Tara and I adjust the pressure inside the glove box just by moving my arm. Let's say we go to two millibars push Tara and now I can move again the the weight will uh, maybe change during that but we have to remember the two millibar so now we carefully open these doors oh, it's gonna be a real joke now oh, it actually fits great um, so we have our sodium chloride here and also one thing to consider when you when you add your uh, solid the weight that you see happening on the balance will not be the one that you actually have because you don't have the right pressure and the doors are open. This is a nitrogen glove box and you can see a lot of the salt is sticking to the spatula never hit the spatula on your flask so this will hit directly on the balance rather use your glass vial to hit the spatula like this then you have to close everything up again and go to the two millibar over pressure and then you can read 58 uh, milligrams that's exactly the weight I wanted so we're done with weighing out I'll cap that for later but let's say um, tragedy happens and we actually spill our salt maybe in the balance or next to it. We have to clean up the glove box after we're done working and I'm gonna show you now how to do that. So, should always start from top to bottom. We have this little uh, brush here. You probably throw it at the back with this build. So, Inside, we actually have to uh, disassemble that. We turn off the glove, uh, the balance for that. And you can just gently push over the chemical in this crease here. And then carefully remove this upper dish to be sure you can gently hammer it on this little tray. That's now clean. This uh, piece here usually stays clean. 
to be sure you can hammer it too but all of your chemicals should be now in this inner dish be very mindful that we don't want any chemicals to fall in this hole give it a little brush too so there's still some um, particles that I can see that are in here get them all out so ideally now all the uh, chemicals are just on the floor so uh, we can reassemble the balance real quick and you can actually move the balance because there will be some dirt under it you can still use the brush but you see there are salt particles everywhere so to spare you a lot of work we also have this bigger brush <clears throat> then you can go through the whole glove box really quickly Use the dustpan. So we already have a lot of uh, salt on this. It's actually a good idea to use this bigger tray that we have in the small chamber to take out all your dirt immediately. Everything you want to bring out, you can add as well. By the way, never grab in this area where you can see, this is where usually broken glass accumulates and you can damage the gloves. Always use the brush to go there I can see there's also some uh, other dirt that I just removed so very effective everything back in position you can turn back on the balance and if you see that the level is not in the right place be nice to the next person and adjust it already so then when you're completely done with work you should take a close look to your uh, gloves so when these get touched by chemicals they usually also turn in color so it's easy to spot but if they are dirty just uh, take them out with you and then slowly come out of the glove box give everything a good look if you maybe damage the gloves also sometimes you have a lot of grease on the glass you can use some windex to clean that uh, use your magnet to the done portion we'll change back the pressure to five millibar close enough okay. go back now we'll remember that 
fills up the gloves at this point. You can go to functions and turn off the box light. You can remove the whole the whole tray and clean it out in your few mode. That's how you use the glove box in our group. Thank you very much for watching.